Mommy, it's Johnny and Romeo here for another episode of... A show where Romeo continues his journey to try every flavor that this earth has to offer. Perfect, because this is your show and that's what we're doing. We're trying it all, dog. Today, we'll be tasting the largest tree-born fruit in the entire world. It has existed for over two thousand years. Ooh, that, that's old. It's very old, weighing up to 120 pounds. It's the one, it's the only, the jackfruit. <laughs> Grown in tropical regions of the world, native to South India and the rainforests of Malaysia. This jackfruit weighs about 40 to 50 pounds. That's more than you, Rome. That is this I mean, I mean, I have been on a diet lately, so maybe it is. Dad, I can't eat this. Absolutely not. We're not eating it. No. We're not going to eat it. Show's over. That's a wrap. No, Dad. You're not allowed to eat it. You sure you want to eat it? Yeah. Fine, I guess we'll eat it. Let's cut into it right now. All right, everyone. So the research that I've done tells me that this is pretty much ripe. Could use a day or two more, but we're just going to go for it. I'm going to cut into it. It's a little bit intimidating. I've never done this before. Oh, it's not too hard. It smells okay. Oh, I'm starting to smell some aromas. What do you see down there, dude? It's a dark. I saw a spider. I should have brought an axe. Whoa. Oh, that moment of truth. Ready for the mega sniff? Good. This is incredible, guys. In the inside of these fruits, there's almost like this silicone goop. So what people do is they'll put a little oil on your hands when you're when you're handling it. Rub it in. Yeah. Okay, let's get in there because this looks really, really good, guys. So this is the inside of the jackfruit. These areas right here are called the arrows, and those are the edible pods that we want to extract right now. You gotta cook these seeds right now. They're really white. That's right. Most people <gasps> roast these seeds and if you boil them, you can make a lovely hummus. I just cut this again and I'm breaking into it because I'm having trouble really getting into the pods here. Jackfruit is actually banned in some public places because of its pungent aroma. It's but so hard. It smells pretty good to me. So we got some pieces of it now. Here we go, buddy. Oh, the big piece. We've extracted a bunch of pieces, and we are going to test this thing out. You ready? I'm ready, Dada. Let's do it. This piece looks the most yellow. All right, everyone, here we go. Jackfruit, first time ever. Cheers. Bonapetito. Bonapetito. Whoa, this is wonderful. It kind of tastes like bubble gum. Bubble gum, but also maybe pineapple. It has a little bit of a durian fruit flavor, like a little bit of onion. It's kind of shiny and waxy on the outside. The texture is a bit crunchy almost. It definitely makes you want to eat more. It's so good. Look at gummy bear. I think I can eat 40 pounds of this. Fun packs. One jackfruit tree can grow up to 250 fruits per year. Now, for all our vegan friends out there, you can actually use this as a substitute for pulled pork in Indonesia. The wood of the jackfruit tree makes amazing drums. Jackfruit! The tree itself can be used for dye, latex, timber, and animal feed. Enough, Dad. Whoa, dude. Every part of the jackfruit is known to be medicinally beneficial. And it's also antibacterial and antiviral. It's going right to the source, eh? Take a look at this beautiful arrow where all the goodness is. Daddy, it looks like the fur. Let's give it to Mama. Want to give it to Mama? Yes. Mama, come here. I got something for you. I love you, Mama. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> So the jackfruit is actually a very pricey fruit, ranging from 2 to $5 a pound. And this one was about 45 pounds, so do the math on that. You think it's worth it? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> jackfruit is immune-boosting, improves digestion, and maintains good eyesight. <laughs> hey, look, Rome. My tongue. <laughs> It makes me want to dance, too! Dance party!
you so much for watching, everyone. Join us next time as we continue our culinary quest right here on... Toss your comments in the oven below and let us know what Romeo should eat next. Okay, I mean next, you want me, homies? Don't forget to subscribe with notifications. Can I eat some more, please? Sure, do you? Bubble gum, bubble gum. And if you didn't think that fruits are fun.